hello, I am Kelan Luarca. I am currently the artistic director and moderator of Tanghalang Ateneo. And I am also a lecturer at the Fine Arts Department in the Theatre Arts Program. Uh, our project under the Sandbox Program is Panyuhay, the Theatre Online Experiment. Um, it is a collaborative, uh, theatrical, and multi-interdisciplinary um, project together with uh, Loyola Film Circle, the Department of Information Systems and Computer Science, and their home organization, ComSat, or Computer Society of the Ateneo for website development. Since we come from the theater, our expertise is limited in live performance and putting up productions, live productions. So we really ask help from our friends, our ally, allies in the arts. Basically, the project is a cooperation between different mediums, between theater and film and website development to create um, works for this burgeoning, emerging new performance form uh, which is online, uh, prompted by the COVID lockdown uh, pandemic. It's not just a matter of transferring the theater, live theater, into the online format, but really kind of exploiting the possibilities of the online medium. The collaboration between Tangalang Ateneo, LFC, and then um, the Department of Information Systems and Computer Science gave birth actually to the entire theater season of Tangalang Ateneo, which is also titled Banyuhay, or Adaptations. So in that theater season, uh, we featured first a launching of our website, Tangalang Ateneo website, which houses um, most, if not all, of our production. It's highly exploratory, highly um, experimental. We don't know how it's going to turn out, um, but that's part of the spirit of, of um, Banyuhay. No? Banyuhay, the word Banyuhay coming from the Filipino words, bagong anyo ng buhay. So we are adapting to our situation. And so we are also adapting to this new mode of living and storytelling. The festival that we created by way of Panyuhay, which is the Bahay ng Alan, is free for audiences. Anyone can watch, log into our website and watch all six productions created by an all-student team. But that they can also donate and the money that we will receive, the proceeds will go to um, different programs that will support artists, theater artists that uh, have lost their um, source of income during the lockdown. We're excited because we're sort of setting a precedent. And by the end of the season, we hope to be able to sit down and like collate every, uh, everything that we've learned and create a study on how to put up a season online and also how to approach this new medium, a new poetic, a new kind of storytelling, which will hopefully benefit um, theater artists, uh, performance makers, and, uh, and designers, um, designers especially of the online medium, and maybe in the future when, when theater schools want to discuss uh, what went on during the COVID pandemic, this can be one of those documents um, that can be studied and, and um, reviewed and see how else, uh, where else can the online storytelling medium go? What other more, perhaps more radical experimentations can happen? I am look forward to, you know, post sandbox to kind of collate everything we learned, not only in terms of craft, not only in terms of technology or design, but also in terms of uh, human experience, the, the work. That, that went into it, even the psychological, you know, situation of students during lockdown, when we are isolated and alienated and far from each other, yearning for each other's company and warmth. This is the time when we need storytelling the most, when we need to share our stories and document um, um, our experiences.